All right, what's up, guys? Okay, now, you know what? I think, like I said in my last video, I think Tom Herman heard me. He was listening to me saying he needs to go. He got scared and decided to run the score up on a broken down Kansas State team. He decided to put up 69 points. Where was that against Iowa State? And TCU. And even Oklahoma. They got no defense, man. Oh, well, it is what it is. That is better late than never, I suppose. Yeah, you still need to go. Um, Texas A&M beating Auburn. That doesn't surprise me. The only game I was wrong about was BYU and Coastal Carolina. I didn't mention it here, but I put it on my Facebook page. So, eh, go figure. I got everything else right, though. Um, Now... With that out of the way, I want to talk about a few of the conference championship games. At least two of them for now. I want to talk about the ACC championship. You got a healthy Trevor Lawrence returning. You got all your defensive starters coming back. And they're having a rematch with Notre Dame for the championship. The ACC title. Oh, that's tough. You know, Notre Dame beat them pretty convincingly last time. But again, like I said, they were missing players against Notre Dame. And Notre Dame still have a hard time with them at home. So... As a betting man, I'd have to lean towards Clemson. This time it's not in Notre Dame. It's in a neutral side. Clemson wins the ACC title every year, basically since 2015. And I don't think that's going to change this time. I think Clemson wins a hard-fought game by at least two touchdowns, maybe a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> do I think Notre Dame's that good? Oh, yeah. They could play with anybody in the country, let alone beat anybody. But I don't think Clemson loses this game. Um... I already gave my prediction, but I'll give it again out of that school in Florida and Alabama in the SEC title game. I got to go with Alabama. I know Florida's got Kadarius Toney. They got Kyle Trask. They got Kyle Pitts. All these great players. That defense is very good, but it's also vulnerable at times. I've seen them play lesser opponents, and their defense gives up some big plays. All right? So, it's not too many. Well, yeah, there's not too many vulner vulnerabilities with Alabama. I did see the Ole Miss game where they gave up a bunch of points, but that's, that was one game. I don't think that happened if they played again. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> it's so hard to make a pick on that game because, you know, Florida's been doing great. Like they, they got the best player in the country right now at Kyle Trask. and um, But it's Nick Saban in Alabama, so it's hard to pick against those guys. And... No, they both got a game. I know Bama has Arkansas, and I know Florida has LSU. So oh, never mind. I thought Bama had the bye week before the conference title game, but that's not the case here. I got to pick Alabama. I just think they play a lot cleaner there. I think they're better coach. I think um, Bama's defense will make enough plays in this game. They'll get at least one or two crucial takeaways that hurt Florida in the end. It's just Florida's defense. They do play good at times, but... They've been uh, suspect to giving up big plays here and there, and I think that's going to hurt them in this game. I don't think Alabama has better athletes. I just think they're better coached. And again, usually when uh, Nick Saban takes on Dan Mullen back when he was at Mississippi State, he always beat him. So I don't think that changes now. Um, do I think Bama is the best team in the country? Yes, I do. I think the rankings this year are, are pretty accurate as far as the top five go. I think um, Bama is rightfully number one. I think Notre Dame's number two. But, yeah, I think Clemson should be number three. Ohio State's four and a &M's number five. Now, even though I think a &M deserves that spot, I think even they might be a little too high. Just because, you know, when you're playing teams like LSU and Auburn, who Bama murdered, you should be able to do the same thing if you're in the top five. But they did win the games. Do I think a and is good enough to go to the playoff and do something there? No, I don't think so. I think they'll get beat in the first round. That's just my thought on it. Um, I'll make a separate video later on. I'll talk about who I think is going to be in the playoffs, if it's four teams. And then I'll talk about it if there's eight teams, who I think should go. All right? I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys in a few.